I'm so excited. A few weeks ago, we had the joy of talking to Disney's highly acclaimed a cappella group, Di Capella, and today they're here in studio. We have members Antonio Fernandez and Shelley Regner join us to tell us about their North American tour and their new album. We're going to hear the whole group. All of you are here in studio this morning. It is such a musical treat, so stay tuned for that. But first, tell us a little bit about this group. I just understand that this is your one year anniversary, essentially. Yeah. It is. Coming together. We, we formed yeah. basically a year ago to the day. So it's kind yeah. of serendipitous and, yeah. and nostalgic that we're now kicking off the grand tour that we've looked so forward to. And we yeah. came together through a nationwide casting call and were put together, you know, through the, the major cities in New York yeah. and Los Angeles, narrowed down to the final seven. And here we are hitting the so road. So there's seven of you. Well, because yes. with an a cappella group, obviously you need to have certain, is there a certain number that you need? Well, it all depends on the type of group, but they all obviously had a vision for like five years prior to the group okay. of how they wanted it to form. So they, uh, Disney and Deke Sharon, put that all together and like what was their specific vision okay. and then put that together. But there with. is each in our group, uh, each individual vocal part. Yeah. And what soprano. is your vocal parts? Explain what you guys do. I'm the mezzo, so I sit right between the soprano, which is the highest, and the okay. alto, who hits the low notes, and this guy does all the crazy stuff. <laughs> all the sound effects. I'm <laughs> the vocal awesome. percussionist of the group. Well, and tell me what your background was before. I mean, I went Where to school. Where could you use those talents before, I guess, of the background music? I mean, music? Yeah. really, it was just to annoy and entertain my, my family <laughs> and friends. That was really it. My brother would knock on the door when I was, like, uh, uh, beatboxing outside of his room. He's like, dude, what are you doing? Please, be quiet. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I uh, bet he's eating his words now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's just one of those things that I never knew it would turn into a career. It was Aww. just something I loved doing. Yeah. And so to, like have this experience be what it is of truly doing what I love. Yeah. Um, like, there's no degree in yeah. beatboxing. Well, and I feel like Disney music in particular, there is something so magical and so special and so perfect about most, if not all, of the, the, the Disney tunes that you hear in the movies. Absolutely. I mean, it's got to be a dream to you. There's a huge this eclectic array yeah. of songs to choose from, and we only skim the surface in our right. show of the catalog of Disney yeah. songs. But what's amazing about the show is that from top to bottom, you feel like you've just uh, gone through this entire ride or yeah. roller coaster of Disney songs that you've grown up with that are newer versions, yeah. right. and we revitalize them. And how does in the a show actually work? Like, what's the layout? Because you said it's totally immersive. People are in it. I mean, explain yeah. what the setup is, what the storyline is for it, essentially. So pretty much, from people can expect to like feel every single emotion mm -hmm. possible <laughs> from top to bottom. You're going to um, laugh. You might shed a tear. You're going to yeah. get up and dance. dance. It's definitely. <laughs> yeah. It's more, it's not so much of like a storyline show as, as more of a concert yeah. that we're paying this homage to the Disney classic, you know, all the way back from 50 and 60 years well, ago. Well, that's what I was saying. The today. age, I'd imagine, that people are enjoying this from the itty bitty ones to, yes. I we mean, We just had seniors. our first show last night, and in the front row, I was singing to two seven and eight-year-old girls, and right next to them, I'm sitting next to, uh, uh, singing to a couple that are in their mid-70s yeah. or so, you know, and it's so, it, everyone can time. enjoy the show. Oh, I love that. Well, I can't, what are you singing for us today? We'll be singing Wanna Be Like You from The Jungle Book. I love it. Well, let's get to it. Let's show your upcoming shows. You were just here in Tab at Ruth Eckerd Hall last night, but there are some, uh, there's the upcoming shows that are still relatively close by. You can drive, yeah. uh, but certainly you can pick up the album because you guys have a CD as well. Yes. We're yes. going to put all those details on our website, but I can't wait to hear the whole group now. So take it away, guys. Thank, Thank you. Now I'm the king. Swingers on the jungle VIP. I reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. I wanna be a man, link up, and stroll right in the town, and be just like the other men. I'm tired of mucking around. Oh, do we do? I wanna be like you. I wanna walk like you, talk like you do. You see, it's true. And act like me, can't learn to be human too. Hey, well, I'm 
My desire was man's red flower to make my dream come true. Now give me that secret map. Come on, come on, tell me what to do. Give me the power of man's red flower so I can be like you. Hey, oh, I'm a little. Hey, man, I'm a little. Hey, man, I'm a little. I'm too down. But there's a bone. Say he's a bone. He's a bone. Oh, 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 oh,